Well, puppies steal people's hearts, but now they're being used to steal people's money, too. We're talking about an international puppy scam where thieves are tricking people into buying puppies that don't exist. And as investigative reporter A.J. Legault finds out, there is a Minnesota connection leaving a trail of broken-hearted dog lovers. In Eagle Lake, Minnesota, on a quiet cul-de-sac, a doorbell keeps ringing. It's often answered by Abby Murphy's kids. They just say, somebody's here again for the puppies. But there's a problem. We don't even have a dog. Some fish on the kitchen island are the only pets around. And when the kids answer the door and say, they're here for the puppies, immediately I think, oh, another one. Down at the Eagle Lake Police Department, Chief John Cup is thinking the same thing. We've heard from British Columbia. We've heard from Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Texas, I believe, Arizona. The complaint is always the same. People pay to buy a puppy off a website from a breeder who claims to be at Abby Murphy's Eagle Lake address. Multiple websites advertising different types of dogs are involved, but the puppy is never shipped or when the buyers show up in Eagle Lake, all they get is heartbreak. No puppy. No puppy. Abby says the worst was telling a mom and her little boy. His fa whole face just dropped. Some victims, Sorry. like Mary Booker of Colorado, have lost hundreds, sometimes thousands of dollars. The victims are often instructed to wire cash to Walmarts around Minnesota. Mary sent money to the website Harvey Shih Tzu Home. Her heart was set on bringing this puppy, Blaze, into her family. Dirty, rotten scammers. The retiree lost $380. So now I don't have the money or the dog. There's easily tens of thousands of people every year that are victims to this. Steve Baker is international investigation specialist for the BBB. His research of puppy scams found 80% of the online links for puppies are fraudulent. And all too often, there are Minnesota ties. In fact, this Federal Trade Commission report from 2014 on puppy scams describes a Minnesota cell that has national reach. The federal government believes most of the money ends up overseas in the West African nation of Cameroon. This is very organized because it takes some organization to do this. So far, investigators have not been able to figure out exactly who here in Minnesota is involved in the scam. The only lead caught on camera in the Rochester, Minnesota Walmart, a man picking up cash wired by one of the victims. Investigators say he's likely what they call a money mule. Someone who collects the cash then funnels it to the scammers in Africa. He used the name D. Wayne Gleason, but finding out his real identity is critical. The key to trying to figure out the rest of the story. So Kara Levin set out to track down this suspected money mule. The Walmart video showed he was a passenger in this van. We trace the van back to a Twin Cities janitorial company run by this man, Michael Ienga. We have two of these vans now. Ienga confirmed to Kara Levin the van from the video was his, but says he recently put it in a shipping container and sent it back home to his native Cameroon. He also shared company records showing he had a crew working in Rochester that day. And more importantly, when we showed him the surveillance video, he said he knows the man. I know that is Desmond. Desmond in Darkway, an on again, off again day laborer. Ienga says he hired after meeting through a Twin Cities Cameroonian Community Soccer League. Another employee confirmed he drove the van and took in Dockway to the Rochester Walmart that day, but insisted he too knew nothing about a puppy scam. We are nowhere related to anything like that. So we went looking for Desmond at the Coon Rapids home listed as his address. I'm looking for Desmond in Dockway. Does he live here? A woman who said she's a relative told us Desmond moved out. We showed her a picture of the suspected money mule. Is this Desmond? Yeah. Yeah, that's him. More confirmation we were on the right trail. We left a business card and a short time later got a surprise. Is this Desmond in Dockway? A phone call from in Dockway who claimed to know nothing about a puppy scam. While on the phone, we texted him a picture of the suspected money mule. I'd like to know if that man in the photo is you. He told us he was driving, but would pull over and call us back. We'll see if he calls back. We haven't heard back. And Dockway also told us he'd only used a fake ID a long time ago to get into clubs. But we discovered these eight driver's licenses with eight different names 
all within Dockway's picture, just seized by Brooklyn Center Police in August when they cited him with possession of counterfeit IDs. That case is still pending in court. Meanwhile, suspicious new puppy sites go online almost daily. Harvey Shih Tzus. Remember the website Mary Booker sent money to? There's now Elvira Shih Tzus. Identical layout, even one of the same pictures. I just feel so bad. Back in Eagle Lake, Abby is just tired of her role breaking bad news to folks expecting to pick up a new member of the family. Yeah, I'd love it to stop anytime now. For the record, Indakwe is not facing any charges related to puppy scams. We think our investigation may give law enforcement some leads for theirs. Meanwhile, to learn how to spot a scam puppy site and protect yourself before losing your hard-earned money, you can go to care11.com. That's a stunning statistic, 80%. 80%. Wow. If those. you are shopping for a puppy online, you're going to come across a scammer. Yeah, and, the, and you, you were saying that they're so heavily based in Minnesota because those are the people that are the mules. That's why Minnesota that is That is so. what the federal government suspects mm -hmm. is that many of the mules for some reason are here, Front picking up Minnesota. money yeah. in various locations and funneling it to Cameroon. Great investigation. Wow. Thanks yeah. for the heads up, AJ. Yeah, we appreciate you're shopping it. for a dog? Beware. I know it's emotional too. Yeah, it, it is. is. For those yeah, no doubt. Yeah. Thank you.